Hello everyone, I'm back with another functional model, and this time it's a working Lego swimming pool. This is a really simple but effective mechanism that allows the athletic swimmer to practice his laps across the lanes, starting with a back crawl above water before flipping over and swimming back to the other end. Looks like he's having a ton of fun gliding through the water, and with this open design, you can get some really cool shots, both above and underwater. So before we see the mechanism inside, let's take a closer look at the model itself. As you can see, this swimming pool occupies a 20 by 15 stud area, divided into roughly two halves with the swimming lane, and also this bit at the back, which I've decorated with some other poolside accessories, and even a working diving board. This is another really simple design, that's just using one of these new 2x6 tiles, along with this inverted Technic plate attached to a rubber band that's anchored in at the back, and that just allows it to spring back into place whenever you push down on the surface. I thought that was just a fun little addition that helped make this back area a little bit more interesting. As for the swimming pool itself, a cool part usage which I'd like to point out is these string pieces which I've used to represent the floats which divide up the swimming lanes. And then you can also see that in some sections the swimming pool actually goes down a little bit using these curved pieces. And the whole point of those indents is to give the swimmer a bit more space so he doesn't hit his head when he turns around to swim the other direction. Then the only other detail that gives this away that there is some kind of mechanism here is this large opening at the back of the pool. Although I guess this could be something like a vent where the water could get recycled. And you can see that is actually where this transparent blue lightsaber bar comes out and provides a very well camouflaged attachment point that the minifigure can grab onto. And with him out the way, you can see the movement even better where it's almost like this bar is just moving around by itself. And how I achieve that becomes a lot more obvious with some of these panels being removed, where you can see that bar is actually attached to the inside of a large conveyor belt that transports it in a continuous pattern, creating the illusion that it's traveling from side to side. From this angle, you can see exactly how that's attached using this Technic piece. And what that does is basically bring the bar as close to the center of the conveyor belt as possible. And that way you get that long horizontal motion as it follows the conveyor belt around, but it doesn't go up and down too much, and instead limits the vertical movement to just that two plate high gap in the wall. I think this is a really neat and effective solution, and it allows that to be driven directly from either a handle at the back, or a motor, as you saw at the start. And sometimes the simplest solutions are the best ones, especially in this case, where this whole section can be easily disguised with a poolside walkway on the top. So I hope you enjoyed this look at my working Lego swimming pool, and if you did, then please give this video a like, let me know what you think in the comments, and subscribe to my channel for even more Lego creations. I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.